Autism in media. The term media is used to describe the channels we use to communicate ideas and news, such as newspapers, magazines, websites, social media, television, and movies. And to help us talk a little bit more about that, I have my Bluey pals right here with me. Hi, Hello. Yeah, today's episode is going to be a bit different because we're all going to guest star since we all have something to say about this topic. And we're going to focus on the most popular forms of media, like movies, television, and comics. <laughs> That's right. Who here can tell me what the word representation means? I know. Representation is when you repackage a present someone gave you for someone else. Right? <laughs> Funny. Nope, that would be representation. Representation is something else entirely. It's how media chooses to portray characters, social issues, and events to its audience. Oh, but why is it so important to have representation in media, James? Because, Lily, whether or not we like it, people often form their opinions on other people based on what they see in TV shows, video games, movies, and other forms of media. That's why proper representation is important when there is an autistic character, because we need people to see authentic characters and not stereotypes that can be harmful. Oof. What's a stereotype? A type of stereo. You know, like Sony, JVC. <laughs> Close, but no teddy bear. A stereotype is a fixed and oversimplified image of who or what is being represented. And those of us who are on the autism spectrum have had our pretty fair share of bad stereotypes. Writers often fall back on portraying autistic people with super brain powers or having obsessive tendencies. The problem is that these types of characters don't show that we are diverse and unique. There is so much more to us than what they show in the media. But more and more, writers are using their lived experiences or work with autistic advisors to create more authentic characters. Here's just a few examples of positive representation in the media. You all know Pixar for their totally awesome movies, like Toy Story and The Incredibles. Well, guess what? Their Spark Shorts on Disney Plus has a bunch of cool short films with characters who are autistic. This one's Loop. It's a story about an autistic girl who doesn't verbally communicate. She finds friendship with a chatty boy at camp. This other spark short is called Float. It's about a boy who's born with a unique ability to float. His father wants him to stop because he's afraid that people will make fun, bully, or hurt his son because he's so different. The story is about the father learning to celebrate and accept his unique son. The director, Bobby Rubio, took inspiration from his own relationship with his autistic son. Movies aren't the only places autistic characters pop up. Jacob, a young man on the autism spectrum, imagined an incredible universe, and a new comic book series was born. He and his father led created The Adventures of Jake Jetpulse. So stories featuring positive autistic characters can be read and enjoyed by comic book lovers. Hey, aren't you forgetting to mention what else is so great about these comics? Oh, oh yeah, you mean the fun quizzes and educational stuff. Actually, my favorite part, the games. I am all about games, man. <laughs> His vocabulary started to build, he became more confident. It's like being a superhero, he started to emulate the, the, the character also. Even though it's a collaborative thing, it's more like a, like a love letter to my son, where I can actually teach him how to be a good human being. You know, like, to not give up, to work your hardest, to do your best. And now, we get to my favorite part, Pablo! Huh? I've never heard of this show before. That's because it's a British kids show, so you may not have seen it, but it airs all over the world, and you can watch it for free online. Really? Awesome! Pablo is an animated show about a young boy whose passion for crayon drawing leads him to creating entire worlds and stories with his animal friends. The main cast are all on the autism spectrum, and some have even co-written scripts. 
Every episode is inspired by their real life experiences. So now that you've seen the different ways that people with autism are represented in the media, what is it you like most about them? Uh, they're all, uh, positive and empowering. You're close, although that certainly is part of it. I say, maybe it's more like it shows off the value and uniqueness of each character. That's right, Leo. All the characters here are authentic and real instead of being stereotypes. Oh, I like how that one Pixar cartoon, Float, is gentle about its message and not so direct. It's such a good way to tell a story with an important meaning. Ditto. That just goes to show how the power of imagination can help people face their issues. Kind of like how Pablo used his imagination to face things going on in his day-to-day -day life. I thought it was interesting how the girl in Loop showed how fascinated she was with her cell phone. Shows how you can easily get hooked on it. Yeah, but I think you missed the point there, Leo. That device was more than just a cell phone for her. That was her method of communicating. It shows how we should be open to all kinds of ways people can communicate with us. So now that you've seen how important representation is from the writing, characters, and even the actors who play the roles, maybe we can be on the lookout for more authentic autistic characters in media. You mean, like you? Well played, monkey boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh.